Welcome to the Ann Lynn Show with your host, Ann and Lynn. On today's show, Mamaw's cooking up liver and onions. Oh boy. So sit back, grab your cup of coffee, and now here's Ann and Lynn. Welcome to the Ann Lynn Show. I'm Ann. Tomorrow night, Lynn and I and her husbands are going to have dinner together again over at Lynn's house. And this time, I'm going to bring the dessert. And I am going to make a bishop's pie. And I got this recipe from my mother-in-law, Dave's mom. And it's one of the things that I hold really dear. She took the time to handwrite it all out for me. And I have a few of her recipes that I that I really are precious to me. And this is one of them. And I'm sure she's looking down on me from heaven saying, it's about time, Anne, that you made another pie for my boy. And so <laughs> that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to make a pie for her boy. And um, we're going to make it as low carb and low sugar as possible. So what you put in this is a small box of instant chocolate pudding, and then you take a small box of instant vanilla pudding, and we're gonna add to it two cups of milk, and so I'm gonna use sugar-free um, pudding mixes. I'm gonna use skim milk. We're gonna mix these together for about two minutes on low speed. And then to this, we're gonna add two cups of softened vanilla ice cream, and I'm going to use Carb Smarts uh, vanilla ice cream. It is really good and it's low sugar, low carb. Okay. And then we're going to beat this together and we're going to put this into, we're going to pour it into a graham cracker crust. Um, and now this is where some sugar is going to come into it because I'm going to use um, just some honey grams that I picked up at Walmart. And you know when you make a graham cracker crust, then you add butter and usually sugar to that. So I'll use Trevia. And I am going to pour it into, this is my um, dish that I got down at Pigeon Forge down at the pottery store, which I'm, I really love. And so I've made quiche in this, I've made pies in this, so I've cooked in it in the oven. And so this is what I'm going to use because you want it to be a deep dish pie dish. And this to me is perfect. So we're gonna pour that all in there and then you're gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it set up real good. Then we're gonna take it back out and we're gonna to top it with 12 ounces of Cool Whip and um, or more. <laughs> we're just gonna make really, just really top that up really pretty. And then to make it look even special, more special, is we're going to take, I've got a special dark chocolate bar and I'm going to take my vegetable peeler and just make some pretty cuttings over the top of the pie. And oh, buddy, is it ever going to be good. And then you put it back on the refrigerator. Now, you do this the day before you want to eat it. So we're going to eat it tomorrow at Lynn's. And so now I'm going to show you how I put it together real quick. Because as soon as I get done here, we're going to be over at Lynn's. And you know what she's going to make for dinner? She's making it, especially for my husband, Dave. So this must be Dave night because one of his things that he really likes very much, and i sorry I don't make it, but it's beef liver. And Lynn likes it and cameraman like it. So Lynn's going to make me a small pork cutlet. And I told her, I said, well, I asked her. <laughs> now she is my sister. She could punk me, right? So who knows? But I did, I did ask her, I said, if you could just please fry it in a separate pan than the beef liver. So I'm bringing dessert. I'm gonna start putting it together here. It doesn't take very long, but you do need to put it um, you know, together the day before. And then I tell you what, I'm gonna post my recipe right down there in the comments. And so if you wanna make it for yourself, and you can use all the, the, the sugar stuff, you know, if you wanna use regular pudding mixes and, and regular vanilla ice cream and go for it. But um, I'm using all the low carb, uh, low sugar version. And, and so it's just about as good.
hello there this is mammal and i uh, understand that lynn was supposed to do the uh, liver and onions tonight but she forgot that she had a maiden so anyway you stuck with me <laughs> first thing i want to show you is i sliced up all these onions that's right i'm gonna put them in this bowl right here in this bowl and then ooh, doggy onions okay okay get out of there little onion what you, i've washed my hands with antibacterial soap okay so i'm gonna put some water in here and i'm gonna i'm gonna uh cook these onions in the microwave and get them nice and tender the funny thing is and do not like liver let me show you my liver there's my liver well it ain't my liver we're going to start putting the oil you remember last week i had my good old frying pan a oh, good grief did you say that i almost had a homeowner's insurance claim okay we're gonna put this vegetable oil in the Throw all my stuff right there. Well, Lynn said, Mamma, you make it better than me anyways. So that's pretty good out of her to say that, don't I think so? I'll put a little oil back here for uh, Ann's uh, steak. There we go. I don't want to make a mistake. <laughs> okay. Now, when this gets hot here, I'm going to give you some salt and some pepper. That's all I'm going to do to this liver. And I want to show you. I got me just some flour. That's right. Just some flour. And I'm going to take my liver. Well, come on, liver. Sometimes your liver just wants to come apart on you. Come on, liver. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that liver. Here it is. Come on, liver. Well, I'll be. My liver is hanging out together. Come on, liver. Come on now. Come on. There it is. There's a piece of liver. I know you young kids like that liver and onions, don't you? <laughs> now, remember how you find out if your frying pan's hot? I think I'm going to turn down hands. You put some flour like that in there. That's what you do. You put some flour in there. And you see if it goes uh, squirt. Here it is. Okay. Shaky, shaky. Okay, wakey, wakey. Here we go. Oh, I hear it. You you want to make sure your, uh, your skillet's hot. Let me get another piece. Oh, I hear it. Can you hear it? We don't want no blood to be eating no blood liver. Uh, I don't want that. And I got just a little bit more to fry up, and then I'll be ready for the onions. How's everybody doing out there? <laughs> I'm doing very good to be truthful with you. You know what I didn't do and it salt and pepper it yet. I'm going to pepper it like this. And I'm going to salt it. Now don't you be asking me how much. Mamma, how much? I just do it because I know how to do it. I wouldn't be a very good cook on TV, I guess. Okay, water's the boiling for that corn. We're going to get this good old liver cooked up good. I want it crispy. I don't want none of that soggy liver. <laughs> I don't want no soggy liver. Come on, liver. You can. Can you hear that frying? See it? Come on in! Come on in! Well, uh, look who's coming Hello, in the door. Hello there. Hello there, 
grandson and granddaughter. They're here. Here they are. Ooh, I smell, I smell liver. Wow, best smelling stuff in this house. Oh my goodness. You're cooking that liver, Mamma? Sure am. Go you know here. that Lynn was going to cook. Oh, show them right here. Just show them right there. Look uh, at that beautiful. What do you call that? Um, Bishop's pie. Bishop's pie. Well, I it should look pretty long. Well, thank Is you. Is there room in the refrigerator? Well, I think you can take out some salad. Help me get that out. Okay. I'm a cook in your steak over here. Look here. Oh I, my word. Now I gotta get this out of here and keep it in there. Okay. And wow. then I'm gonna fry my onions. Oh. Now fry see your onions. I put them in the microwave. Okay. Because see then that way it don't take all day. Okay. David, is this enough liver for you? Oh, you ought to come see this. Okay. I got three big strips, and then the rest just goofed up on me. Just goofed up. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yes, it just goofed up. So what do you think of that? Well, okay. Pretty good. I'm going to put my onions in this grease now. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, you that's okay? my frying pan, isn't it? Yes. yes! It's a good one, isn't it? Look at here! Now, I do like those. Are you going to leave them separate? Well, yes, I'm going to put them back in that one. Oh, good. I do like fried onions. It's awful loud in this house. I like fried onions, Mama. Good for you. <laughs> well, I want to say goodbye to you. I'm going to... I've worn myself out. I'm just sweating and I'm tired and I'm just going to go get in bed. <laughs> And I think I hear that Lynn coming in from her appointment. So, oh, good grief. Okay. Goodbye for now. Goodbye.